Okay guys, I just make a very short video about this uh, battery voltage monitor. Uh, I wanted to show you, this is the original one, the first one that I got. And as you can see the LCD is quite dim. Uh, it was brighter at the beginning, but after maybe no more than 30 hours of uh, using it, uh, the, the backlight is quite dim right now. And also the power consumption, it's uh, quite high. It's you see 31.5 milliamps, which is uh, really high, I think, for especially for small batteries. It will uh, r because it's it's using the only the first two cells to to take power, and also has a linear regulator inside, so it everything runs only at three volt. It's so it's quite wasteful. But um, you will see on this other one that I modified. It is a bit slower because it's running at 4 MHz instead of 16 MHz, so 4 times sl slower. But as you can see, it's using way less power. And also what I modified that uh, used the most power is the backlight. And I don't know if you can notice, but this, this one is brighter. And uh, it will stay brighter for way longer because the backlight now uses only about 5 milliamps compare with this one that used uh, 15 or or more milliamps and because I reduced the uh, microcontroller clock to um, 4 megahertz um, I also reduced the power consumption with about 5 milliamps so now it's using only 12.5 milli milliamps which is much better than uh, with the original one. Okay, so this is the modified one. Um, as you can see, the main clock is now 4 MHz instead of 16 MHz. And this is the microcontroller, it's a microchip, it's a, some custom chip, I think, that you can only find on the Chinese market. But it's a 16F something, I don't remember exactly. You can, you can find it if you are familiar with a microchip and these two are quad amplifiers so you have eight uh, op amps here used to, to measure individual cells and this one there's nothing written on it but um, it, it's probably for the display so um, there's nothing much in here but it seems well well built doesn't look too bad this this one is the buzzer, the internal buzzer, and what I did, I uh, the original uh, resistor for the backlight is this five ohm here. It's a small SMD. I think it's a six or three, or I don't know exactly. And since I don't have these small SMDs, uh, I used a large uh, true hole resistor. This is a sixty-eight uh, ohm resistor. And this is serious with a 5 ohm one, so it's about 673 or something like that ohms in total. But you can experiment with uh, with different values and see what what is fine for you uh, re regarding the the display, the backlight illumination. So, um, and this is a 3 volt linear regulator, and you see from the second cells there are. Uh, some diets so uh, this will uh, take power only for from the first two cells uh, in series so uh, it will only discharge the first two cells and the uh, 31 milliamps that you saw before that uh, this original device uses it's a bit much even for for large cells they it could discharge the cells in a in a matter of days or weeks which is not too good and reducing the power consumption to more than half it should be a good thing so, um, this is all also the fact that you reduce the the current to the LED I could show you the LED it's a small SMD LED let's see it's this uh, yellow dot inside here I don't know if you can see and 
this is the only LED for the backlight and this could not use uh, 20 milliamps or something like that it, it need to be it need to use less like uh, under 5 milliamps in order to work for uh, for more than a few hours <laughs> otherwise it will rapidly deteriorate like you saw on the on the other one and um, in very short time you it will be use, useless but if it's already damaged you can probably replace it with any other LEDs you need a small one but uh, you can use any any other LED in there so yes for $12 I really recommend this uh, battery voltage monitor but you just need to, to fix the especially the LED backlight uh, running the microcontroller slower it's not really necessary you save about 5 milliamps but the uh, largest savings are on the backlight and you also uh, help the backlight work for much longer than just uh, a few hours so um, this is a good device it's quite accurate i have two of them and both seems to be quite accurate at least uh, uh, I have two digits that are for sure accurate the last digit maybe not so accurate but uh, uh, you don't find too many of these that have three digit uh, resolution so um, it, it really is uh, a useful device thanks for watching this video this short video and um, if you have any questions about this please leave a comment and uh, I will try to answer.